everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again and here is my review for episode 2 of Married at First Sight season 4. Now in this episode we uh, have matches of Michael 30 with Scarlett also 30 and Natalie 36 and Anthony 33. Now this is the episode that features what has been called the world's pickiest man, Michael, uh, who is a data, data entry clerk and also a part-time part male stripper. He is very picky on what he wants in a partner. He works out all the time and is very fitness conscious. He says he wants someone self-motivated, keeps himself healthy and fit, has small ears, under 60 kilos, and is a natural beauty. Well, he admits that looks are important to him and basically wants someone like him, but a girl. Now, here he is matched with Scarlett, 30. Uh, the description says aspiring author. So I'm not sure if she actually has a full-time job. She lives with her mum. She doesn't have to pay rent or do any of the washing and basically lives like a princess. So her mother do does everything for her. I mean, uh, shots of her bedroom look, you know, is pinkish and quite girlish. She says she wants a partner to be good looking tall, blonde, blue-eyed, takes care of himself, himself, have a nice jawline, and important that he has to have nice hair. Well, the matchmakers say that I uh, think they'll be a pair because she's energetic and bubbly, so might get Michael to loosen up a bit. She's not that into fitness, so she can probably expand his horizons uh, but worry that they do worry that if she doesn't tick one of his boxes he could shut it down I personally don't really know about this couple I, I personally wouldn't have matched these two as it sounds like it's a recipe for disaster myself um, Michael seems like he would respect a woman who can handle herself and Scarlett is very much a princess. She, yeah, like I say, she's still very much taken care of by her mother and don't know if she can even take care of herself, much less be, have to take care of a household or do at least her share. So, right, the next couple we have is Nadia, who is a flight attendant and a part-time model as well. She says she would like to have a family and would love him to be charismatic but also be a man and she's not looking for a Ken doll. So, which, it, which sounds good because it sounds like she's serious about settling down so she would be taking this process seriously. And, uh, and she, also that she was brought up by a single mum. Now she is matched with Anthony, 33, a racing broadcaster. He says that work's always been a priority, uh, but says that now, what good is doing a job you love if you come back to an empty house? So he wants, but he wants someone with ambition, um, share the same family values, someone he can be proud of, but also proud of him as well. I guess we all want that. And he wants someone that will fit into his family. So it, it all sounds like he's also serious about settling down. And what the matchmaker said is that Anthony, since he was also brought up by a single mum, would have also ha he also has high social intelligence, and that would really help him in this relationship. Okay. So in next scenes. We move on to the couples telling their families that they're getting married, with Scarlett telling her family, they're all sh shocked as expected, and then the rest of the couples tell their families. 
And then we have eight shots of um, the wedding. Now the moment has come to see how picky Michael reacts to seeing his bride. At the moment he sees her, he smiles. So that is a good sign. Their wedding vows get interesting with Scarlett saying that she will protect him from zombies, love him as much as she loves a credit card, which elicited some laughs. And then when it was time to kiss, their kiss went fine and there was no problems there. Uh, the kiss is usually a very good indication of how they find they how much they're attracted to each other in the beginning. Now for Anthony and Nadia's wedding, uh, well he thought she was beautiful. However, when it came time to kiss, Nadia didn't go for it and ended up with Anthony just giving her a pet kiss on the cheek. Nadia says she wasn't feeling it, so she, that's why she hesitated on the kiss. And basically at the, the chance of, the, well at the first kiss, she shut him down. And he was disappointed. He says that uh, she's not into it like he is. For Nadia, she says that it's important for her to establish a connection before kissing. So that sort of compatibility, I guess, is more important to her than physical attraction. Or that she needs to feel connection before she can get physical, is how I read it. Now, at the reception, Scarlett's mum complained. She complained that Michael did not make eye contact with her or speak to her that he had no manners and he spoke to a, to the bridesmaids but not to her. And there was a scene where Scarlett lost what she said was a really funny speech that she had prepared and then she got it back yeah, yeah, to read, she was very relieved. She read it but it didn't go down well with everyone, didn't hit, quite hit the right note. Nadia says that she wants to slow down and not rush in, um, that chemistry is one component but compatibility is important. And Anthony's speech though was very beautiful and genuine and that showed to Nadia that he was committed to making it work. Now at the end of the day when they are going to bed for the night we have a scene with them at night with Nadia building a wall between them in bed. She is not yet comfortable. She says she's taking her time and is not just jumping into this. This is actually a good sign because it shows that she's taking this seriously and making sure that Anthony is the one before, is the one because she wants a life partner. On the other hand, we see Michael and Scarlett in bed being very natural with, with each other and sleeping in the same bed, no problems. However, however, despite this, I don't feel good about this couple. I don't think Scarlett is grown up enough to handle a marriage and about to do and able to do her share in a marriage. And she like she lacks the life skills as shown by her mother doing everything for her. And now that her mother is not going to be around to do everything for her, how will she handle it? And Michael says that he likes someone self-motivated and, well, Scarlett doesn't seem to be it. Her occupation is listed as aspiring author, which really doesn't indicate that she has a full-time job. But part of her wedding vow, she stated and also, yeah, part of her wedding vow, she did state she loved her credit card. It might not matter during the show as they are not financially dependent on each other, but in a real life situation, it is. And those of you who are married or who have been married will probably attest to that. And that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like share and subscribe to be alerted to when my next review is up. So until then, bye for now.